Welcome to Andy Matter's ECR Science Hacks, and today we're talking about everyone's slimy little science friend, networking. Scientific networking is a form of academic improv where your character is a more successful version of yourself. The end goal of networking is to convince someone you've just met for one of two things. Firstly, to convince them to do some work for free for you, also known as collaboration, but also that your mental health is stable enough so that they'll offer you a job. Now I tell people before they start networking, they need to push those feelings of self-doubt deep, deep down into the pit of their stomach. A top tip is the closer to the anus, the better. Let's get started. The greatest opportunities for you to network come from a conference. A conference is a group of drunk academics who congratulate each other for being famous to about 100 people. First of all, you need to locate someone to network with. This could be an old supervisor, a colleague, or someone who looks gullible enough to believe your bullshit. Once you have located them, confidently walk up to them, maintaining eye contact throughout the journey. Once you reach the person, you're gonna to have to start small talk. Great small talk conversation starters are the weather, how shit the conference food is, but what is not so good are topics like cancer and how science is making you feel sadder and sadder by the hour. The biggest thing is to set yourself out from the crowd and the rest of the people they've met during the conference. The most effective method is just be nice to them. In academia, that's pretty rare. And the top tip for this section is keep all of the bad thoughts in your head. Oh, gross. I think they've got food in their teeth. Oh, this person is so boring. I wonder what would happen if I just kissed them on the lips. Towards the end of your networking session, just about the time you've convinced them to do some work for you or give you a job, you'll need to exchange business cards. Write down on the business card exactly what you need to remember this person, because when you're coming down from your caffeine high and really scattered, it'll help. And your networking doesn't finish at the end of the conference or networking event. What you need to do is channel your inner stalker and find them, and make sure they know why you should be in their life. <laughs> 